Hey everybody, today we have an amazing video for you guys about RM colostrum. We've had colostrum forever. We've had colostrum for over a decade now. It's something that we have believed in forever. Colostrum is a big hit right now. We're seeing tons of different companies out there spend copious amounts of money on ads to get your attention, to get you to buy their colostrum but we have a completely different colostrum than most people. So that's why I wanna share this video with you today. We're gonna to cover some things on testing. Obviously, you gotta know that, right? We're also gonna talk about demystification of colostrum and kind of like what we're seeing out in the industry today. And we're also going to launch a new colostrum, colostrum skew. Yes, we've got a two ounce colostrum that we just put out for you guys so that you guys, if you've been on the fence about trying colostrum and you wanna try it, Now's the time. First and foremost, I'd like to talk about colostrum as a whole. Well, one of the first things I always kind of get questions about with colostrum is, hey, I have a dairy allergy. I can't have colostrum. And it's just kind of this thing that people think. And what's crazy is that a lot of these people have even tried colostrum, not crucial force colostrum, and they have reactions to it. And I want to talk about why. First thing we have to understand is that colostrum is not produced in the mammary glands where milk is produced. It's actually produced in the bloodstream and it's only produced for a short period of time. So a few weeks before that, this colostrum milk starts to kind of get produced. That baby is in birth, then the baby can actually get that colostrum. And that again is produced in the bloodstream. It's not produced in the mammary gland. Now, why is that important? Well, that's important for multiple reasons because when we're talking about allergies that people can could potentially have to dairy, it's usually because of the, the lactose or the casein, the protein profile. So we have to understand that when you have something that's produced in the mammary gland versus the bloodstream, the amount of protein and lactose is gonna be completely different what, than what's in whole colostrum than what's in actual milk. And the reason why, again, people are having adverse reactions to some colostrum on the market is because they're getting transition milk. Because once the calf is born, the colostrum stops being produced, right? And the milk starts getting produced. And so you have this kind of in-between phase and we call this transition milk. And you can, you can analyze this through a test. You can actually see the protein to lactose ratio. So as the protein decreases, the lactose increases, right? And so when you start to look at these types of ratios, or if you have a specific colostrum that you like, you need to ask these guys, like what's the protein to lactose ratio? And I'm gonna go ahead and pop up our test right now. Boom, you guys see that there? And as you can see, ours is the highest standard that we've ever found. Now I'm gonna go more into detail on our colostrum and the benefits of it, but I wanted to take a, this moment right here and talk about this because this is super important because once you understand this ratio, you understand that if you want to get colostrum, that you have to adhere to this ratio. And if you're not getting this ratio in a balanced form, then you're just getting transition milk. And this is why some people have issues with colostrum that are dairy sensitive. However, we have never had anyone have any issues with our colostrum that is dairy sensitive for this very reason. Because see, what we do guys is we allow the calves to get their fill. And after that calf has gotten its fill, we actually start to pull that colostrum. And we pull that colostrum within four to six hours after birth. And again, within that six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14 hour after birth, you're getting transition milk. And most companies are, are, aren't able to actually get in there quick enough. And so what you find is a colostrum conundrum <laughs> where you're seeing companies buy this colostrum or transition milk colostrum from all these different farms that have all these different practices from all over the United States or wherever the heck they're getting this stuff. I don't know. And a lot of times what they're having to do then is just process the crap out of it. So they're basically doing like these 500 to one extractions. They're also doing things like agglomeration where it makes it instant, easily mixed in water. You know, these are things that you don't want to see. When you have a product that's high in protein, high in fat, it's not going to mix well in water. So if you're taking a colostrum now that can instantly mix in water and it makes it so convenient for you, you're actually getting a super processed product. And typically what we see with these types of products is they have 
a weak raw material. The raw material is not the best ever. They're not sourcing it from the best cows. They're getting it from all types of different dairy. They're just taking anything and everything they get. We call it what, what they what we call them in the industry is they're stacking them deep and selling them cheap. But what we see with colostrum is we see people stacking them deep and selling it expensive and overselling it because colostrum has massive benefits, massive benefits. A colostrum is something that can completely restore your gut if you take the right stuff. It's something that can help your body regrow anything that's unbalanced within the body. So lots of different growth factors. There's over 70 different types of growth factors in real colostrum. The other thing that a lot of people don't mention is they try to say that their colostrum is grass fed and all this garbage, but it's not. You know, there, There's not a true certification for this. So you actually have to go to these farms, you have to figure this out. But if you're buying a colostrum from a big supplier and they're getting colostrum from all different farms from all around the nation or the world, there's no way they can guarantee that. Now, they can legally make that claim because the FDA doesn't subject them to these claims, right? But what I'm getting at here, guys, is that most colostrum in the industry, even though they're claiming to be grass-fed, it's not. And you know, most of the colostrum in the market that's saying it's non-GMO, they don't know. They they can't do the type of R was not R and D. They they can't do the type of product control that it would cost so much money for the amount of product control they would have to do in order for them to fully understand if their product was 100% grass fed or not. Now, our colostrum we know for a fact is because it's single origin harvested. We're getting it from one massive farm. It's a big farm. It's like a 4,000 acre farm and they specialize in dairy production. And we know these cows are on grass majority of the year. Now, if you've ever been on a dairy farm, which I have, my uncle did dairy, you know that in the winter, the cows can't eat grass because grass doesn't grow. So there are colostrum, our cows are actually supplemented in the winter with a little bit of silage, but it's actually grown on the land. So it's more of a regenerative thing. And we don't have the regenerative certification on it because that requires all types of different things that we have to get and we're just not in that state right now but i know this farm dearly i know these people dearly and at the end of the day i feel so confident behind this colostrum and really frankly look at the data so when you look at the protein to lactose ratio when you look at the fat content you see that ours is above standard but what ends up happening on top of that well you see an igg ratio that is out of this world and IgG is going to be the growth factors. And this is going to be the main thing along with polyrich peptides, lactoferrin, and a few other amazing compounds that are in colostrum that make it such a phenomenal product for your tummy, for your skin, for your muscle growth, for your hair, for all those things. You know, colostrum is something that if a baby calf doesn't get, there's an 85% chance it will die. So colostrum is like the seedbed of their immunity. And so many of us, we had traumatic births. We were born in hospitals where we got stripped away from our mothers. We weren't getting her colostrum. So colostrum is definitely something that's super advantageous for a lot of us to look at, to put into our diet because of these very reasons. Uh, but at the end of the day, most colostrum isn't colostrum, it's transition milk. So that kind of can leave us in a conundrum and that's why we wrote an email about it and it's just the perfect word to go around go along with colostrum because you have this massive industry that's really just it's a charlatan industry there's hardly any really good colostrum out there because it's really hard to procure it's really hard to process and a lot of people they just don't have a good raw material the other thing that i would love to talk about with our colostrum is that it's not only single origin harvested it's undenatured and undefatted and a lot of colostrum on the market is denatured. And they do that because it's part of that instantation or agglomeration process. These are chemical processes that make the colostrum mix in water and make it so convenient and easy for you. And I know I've said it once and I'll say it again. You don't want that. You want a product that the research indicates. And when you research colostrum, you're going to be blown away by all the benefits. There's stuff in there about the H1N1 flu and how it, the colostrum is like, whatever x more powerful this idea that 
your body's immune system can start to create immune modulation with colostrum, the benefits of lactoferrin, the benefits of polyrich peptides, the benefits of all the different types of growth factors. There's over 70 to 80 different types of growth factors inside real colostrum. But again, if your product has been super agglomerated or extracted or pulled from or really just processed like crazy, you might be able to say, oh, I've got all these beneficial compounds in colostrum, but one thing that we're still missing is when nature left alone, it's in perfect balance. There's certain cofactors, minerals, enzymes, and all these specific things, all these specific things that once you start to process the crap out of colostrum, you lose. So you might on paper in left brain say, oh, I have this colostrum that's got this much this or this much that, but if you've agglomerated it, if you've made it instantized in water, if you've denatured it, if it looks like sand, then you have a classroom that's complete garbage, in my opinion, because it's been super processed. And, you know, a lot of times we get people, not a lot of times, we have a few times people will say, oh, look, our, your classroom is like, it just doesn't mix. I was disappointed. It stuck to my glass. Well, guess what? That's what you want. And that's why I'm shooting this video, to educate you so you can understand what a good raw material of colostrum is. Because if you have a product that's full of fat, full of protein, you have a product that is, nature left alone, is in perfect balance. It's a product that's close to the raw material is humanly possible with the least amount of processing possible. A product that's undenatured, a product that's undefatted, and a product that's single origin harvested. Also, something else that we like to mention about our colostrum is that we test it for glyphosate. Yes, glyphosate. I mean, yeah, glyphosate's everywhere. Even if you have an organic farm, it's probably getting sprayed on your stuff. So it's really hard to find products that are glyphosate free. But we have one here. And M Colostrum is glyphosate tested. We're going to pop that test up. We had that tested just a few months ago for you guys so that you guys could go ahead and be reassured that this is a GMO free product, a grass fed product, a single origin product a full fat product, and it's glyphosate free. Also, did I mention the two ounce bag? Have you went and got it yet? Because if you haven't tried our colostrum and you're eating colostrum now, you owe it to yourself to try our colostrum. The other thing, and maybe I failed to mention this, is our colostrum isn't irradiated. Most dairy products, animal products, even all these organ meats everyone takes, they're irradiated, especially if they're coming from another country. So our colostrum is 100% USA. So when you buy our colostrum, you're supporting the US of A. And don't get me wrong, I love herbs from all around the world. I'm a world lover, I'm a world traveler. But at the end of the day, if I can support something in my neck of the woods, I'm gonna do that first and foremost. Not to mention these things that I already talked about with the polyrich peptides, the lactoferrin, the immunoglobulins and all those beneficial things, which are the main components of colostrum. It's really what makes colostrum such a, a superstar. We all know that inside colostrum and inside most dairy products, that there's essential nutrients, fat soluble forms of vitamin A, vitamin K2. They're so important for our health. That's why so many of us stopped eating vegan and started going to the animal kingdom because you just can't get that being on a vegan diet. Also in eggs and things like this. But my point to this is that our colostrum actually has that. If you have a colostrum that's agglomerated, that's super processed, that's instatized, again, you're going to be stripping away these compounds so that you can have a convenient product. But the convenience is killing us, guys. And if we want something that the research indicates, if we want to feel the benefits of colostrum and, and maybe we have some gut di dysbiosis going on, some tummy issues going on, maybe if we have some gum issues going on, our colostrum, you can actually pack in your gums. I've seen people get cuts, scrapes, burns, apply a paste with our colostrum on it and seen literally within like 48 hours, a complete reversal, like the healing that happens. Um, I've seen people make face masks. I've made a face mask. You guys have seen me. If you haven't seen that video, you got to go watch it. I put this stuff. I went to Costa Rica. I blasted my face. My face was getting hammered by the sun. I put this colostrum on my face. It helped soften up some of my sunspots that I had got from beating myself in the sun so bad. But it also tightened up my skin. And it's those growth factors in there. There's epithelial growth factors. Epithelial, epidermis, growth factors to help regenerate the skin. Regenerate... Uh, fibroblasts, so fibers, tendons, ligaments, all that. There's growth factors in colostrum that can help your body literally repair every single part of it. 
It's an amazing food. And it's why we offer it as a standalone. And while we're actually gonna be doing, sneak peek, a new blend that's gonna exclusively have colostrum in it. And another product that I'm not able to release to you guys yet, but you're gonna love it, just know that. If you have any questions about our colostrum, please let us know because I'm so excited to show you guys the testing that we've done. Again, we've got the protein to lactose ratio testing that I, I think you guys are gonna find extremely interesting and super valuable. We also have our IgG testing showing that our colostrum has the most growth factors, the most polyrich peptides, the most lactoferrin, which is guaranteeing that you are actually getting colostrum, which I find it so appalling that I even have to have this conversation in the, about the industry and that you're not even really getting what the what the, these people are trying to sell you. You guys haven't already clicked off this video to go try our M colostrum. I highly encourage you to give it a try, especially if you're already taking colostrum and experience the best colostrum of your life. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you got any comments, please leave them below and I'll check you guys next time. Job bless.